Shame is a core belief about ourselves that is based on lies. Shame is different from guilt. Guilt says, I've done something wrong, whereas shame says, there's something wrong with me. I'm not enough. I'm deeply flawed. Younger children are egocentric, and this means that developmentally, a child believes the world revolves around him and that if bad things happen, like abuse, it must be his fault. She grows up with a core of shame, believing that if she were just better behaved or smarter or cuter or more helpful, then her dad wouldn't have hurt her or her mom wouldn't have left. Our children may grow up believing they don't deserve love and they don't deserve to be treated well. They may have challenges in expressing themselves for fear of further rejection. Dr. Kurt Thompson says that shame is directly connected to your ability to do creative, liberating work. Where there is shame, there is no freedom. What our children need are shame-free environments where they can grow and restore a sense of their great value. Shame-based children are very sensitive to nonverbal cues like size, eye rolling, tone of voice, these send immediate messages of disapproval. And since only about 10% of our communication is verbal, this is something to be aware of. Proverbs 15:13 says, light in a messenger's eyes brings joy to the heart. What else does a shame-free environment look like besides using positive nonverbal cues? It involves there being freedom to make mistakes, where a parent, caregiver, or teacher encourages growth rather than giving criticism. It involves having space to express emotions freely, even if they're different from everyone else's. In a shame-free environment, children can be different from others without being labeled. This sounds like a pretty good place for adults too, doesn't it? Remember, children who come from hard places carry a core of shame. When we provide shame-free relationships and environments, we help them to become the child God created them to be.